So, hey guys, Chaos here. So we got some big news today ahead of the maintenance later in the day. Uh, we got some info about what buffs ships are getting. Before we go into it, I want to clarify what news we are actually getting. Like if you go to the shipyard, currently you can see that we have 10 hammers. So basically ships have 10 levels. But after the update, ships will have two more hammers to so go up to level 12. So the info we get is what, how good are the ships when you get the 12 hammers when they are level 12. But there is additional upgrades to ship. Uh, if you go to the update info and scroll down. Uh, we also have the modification stuff. When you're level 12, you can upgrade further and get, get different grades. And if you get level 4 on in HP attack and recovery, you get a special effect. And it does say that the special effect will be different depending on the ship. So basically, we don't have the full info, which is why I will not recommend anything at this point, how to spend your super cola you will be getting. Because... We do get some free Super Cola, 20. Since we get 20, I imagine that 20 Cola is what we need to get one ship to level 12. We'll have to wait for confirmation, but that will be my guess. We'll get 30 total and we'll get more from the new mode. We'll also get after the maintenance, the Pyro King Adventures. With that out of the way, let's look at all the ships. I won't go too in-depth, I'll just give my initial impressions. And yeah, first we had Dinghy, which has been the worst ship in the game, but it's actually pretty good now. A high chance of landing on matching orb. Boost caps recovered by 800. Boost cruise attack by 1.65 times. HP by 1.5 times. It makes it much easier to land perfect strikes. Like, it's a perfectly good ship now. Like, very, like it's good in everything, even the increasing chance of matching or boost, which is a decent addition. And the crazy thing is that you need to remember that uh, every ship is getting better now, so it will be hard to say which one you should upgrade. Like looking at this, it looks like a no-brainer, but you get the same feeling with a lot of the ships, but definitely making dinghy viable. Going merry is pretty similar. Reduces CD by one turn. Boost Captain's HP by 20,000. Boost Cruise Attack by 1.65 times. And makes it a much easier to land perfect strikes. So yeah, very similar to Dinghy. Basically, Dinghy gets higher chance for matching orbs. Going Mary gets CD reduction. Uh, Dinghy gives 1.5 times HP. Going Mary boosts HP by a set amount. So, both are basically viable. I'll still prefer Mary just for the seed reduction, but it's cool that we actually have options to use different ships. Coffin Boat, which is the Mihawk Slasher Boat. Now he gives Slash Crash a 1.8 times attack boost, boost 1.75 times HP boost, and reduces Captain's Recovery by 700. That's actually very interesting. Sadly, being Mono Slasher holds it back, but it really has a niche now where you can get both high attack and incredibly high HP boosts. And usually reduced recovery doesn't really matter too much. So even if it's good, it still feels like in general a ship like Oro Jackson will be better when you use a Slasher team. Sure, HP is lower, attack is lower, but you get all the utility like much easier to land perfect, you get recovery time and matching, and you also have the special. One thing I want to note with, all, with a lot of ships here is that they haven't added specials to ship that never, didn't have one in the past. So we don't know, like, if we get to level 12 and modify the ship, do ships without special get a special? It might be possible, I really hope so, because the specials some ships are getting are really good, and I love every ship to have a really good special. Uh, but biggest issue for Coffin Boat might be the Grand Voyage against Sorrow, when you need to have 1k HP to survive. With this ship, it's beyond free, but
but you also lack from not having Oriaxon with recovery matching and removing paralysis. But might be possible to make a good team with it. Uh, Miss Love Duck, pretty interesting. Striker only chip. Still a 1.5 times attack boost. Also a higher chance of landing on matching orb. 20% damage reduction. And boost striker crash attack by 600. So yeah, damage reduction is very nice. And the 1.5 times attack boost is made up by higher base attack boost. Or that's what Bandai is thinking. I say this a lot. Bandai really overestimate base attack buffs. Like let's say we have a unit with 3000 attack. With this ship, uh, it basically means with the extra base attack boost that you have basically a 1.7 times attack ship, which is not that incredible, I'd say. And if we go even higher, like a lot of maxed out legends can reach over 3200 attack then the value goes down even further, then we're talking like a 1.6 times attack ship. So not that special at all. One fun thing to note though is that units with very low stats get a big buff from this. Like if you have 1000 attack, this ship is basically a 2.1 times attack boost. Not that that often matters, but just a fun tidbit. See, I don't really feel like this is a big priority. Mostly will be used for the damage reduction, if anything. Moby Dick is very cool. 50% HP reduction at start of the quest, 1.55 times attack, 1.6 times HP. And if you have very low HP below 30%, you get a further 1.2 times attack boost. So we're talking like a 1.86 times attack boost, I think it is. So that's obviously really good. And this ship will be amazing for some of the Units that want to be low HP, like the new Prime Beard, like Weech Katakuri, stuff like that. So we'll see if we get any more units like that. Moving on, Thousand Sunny, and now is where things start getting very interesting. 1.6 find attack boost, 1.3 times HP, easier to hit perfects. Sounds very meh, right? But then we check out the special. Boost cruise attack by 2.25 times for one turn and this 100 times in non-type damage to all enemies. Like that special is so amazing. One thing I want to point out is that Thousand Sunny didn't really get anything in this ship, not much at least, but got a very good special. So I'm wondering if ships with special get a lot of extra utility with modification and ships without specials are very good without modification, but with modification you add a special. I wonder if they do something like that to like even it out. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, this makes Fast and Sunday very much viable. Like you basically get a free attack boost as well as doing very good damage. So yeah, the question is if that makes up for a bit lower attack boost compared to other ships. We'll have to wait and see, I, I'd say. Uh, the Don Quixote Pirate Ship also gets a special. Now it's a 1.8 times attack boost for Driven. 1.5 times HP makes it easy for Driven characters to land perfect strikes. So yeah, very good attack boost now. And Driven is obviously one of the best classes, which immediately makes it more interesting than the Slasher Ship, for example. Special is 10 turns. We shame multiply by plus 1.0 for 2 turns. So yeah, it's pretty interesting, you get a free chain boost. Like I've seen some say that, oh, this will pair amazingly with the versus Kaido, because now you can get an extra special to use with him to get a chain boost as well. But the thing to remember with ships is that ship specials counts as a real special. So if you have any kind of special limit, using a ship special counts to that. And likewise, if uh, enemy has interrupts, then ship specials will proc the interrupt. It's important to keep in mind, but still 1.8 times attack for Driven. Like, the ship is really good for Driven. I used it even now, sometimes when I do mono Driven teams, and now it's a no-brainer, basically. The very good chain boost is like the cherry on top. Rocket Man. 
This ship is slapped on a bit, I feel like. Uh, powerhouse gets 1.85 times attack. Cut crew's HP by 30% and his HP at the end of the turn. More depending on number of powerhouse, powerhouses in crew, up to 2500 HP. So basically before uh, Rocketman punished you for not using powerhouses, but now it looks like that's gone. So for people who want to like keep hope about future zombie teams, they might not want to upgrade Rocketman. But if you do, the reward is very high, like a mono powerhouse team, 1.85 times attack, flat HP. And on top of that, you get a really good special. You deal 1k damage to one enemy. And Powerhouse also gets a 2 times color affinity. So Powerhouse gets 1.85 times attack and a 2 times color affinity special for free. Like, it's really good. One of the main issues with Powerhouse is that there was basically no reason to use them at all. But you might have now with this ship. Revolution Army Black Birch, very cool. This basically is a ship version of the Lucy Captain ability. Uh, minus 1 CD, 1.4 times HP. If you have strength, dex, and quick units on the team, they get the 1.7 times HP boost, attack boost, of course. And if you also have no Psy and Ink Cash on the crew, you boost strength, dex, and quick cash attack by a further 1.1 times. This ends up being a 1.87 times attack boost. Really good, especially as the Lucy and 6 plus Lucy got a really good captain ability buff lately. So when you end up using them, you can also use this ship because they have the same requirements and is one of the best ships in the game in terms of captain ability now. So very interesting and can be used with other units as well. The main negative is that you, you do need one strength, one dex, one quick at least. Megalo was very popular back in the day, doesn't see as much use now. Boost crew's HP by 1.4 times. If captain is Sai or Int, top row get 1.6 times attack. Middle and bottom row get 1.8 times attack. Captain gets a recovery buff and reduces damage taken by 50%. So pretty weird, like you get higher HP boost. Like captain gets a smaller boost than the subs. Like sure, why not? And you also get damage reduction, like all the numbers are better than current Megalo. Main reason you used Megalo was for the special, since it could lock orbs. And the special got a buff. Now it locks orbs for two turns. And it also reduces slot by more one turn. So that's some pretty cool added utility. It's the only ship that adds any kind of utility. I hope you get even more with the modifications. Piece of Spadil. A ship basically. Minus one CD started quest. Powerhouse, Shooter, Free Spirit and Fighter characters get 1.25 times HP and 1.6 times attack. And if you are very low HP, you get 1.8 times attack. Uh, I think this is what, maybe the worst buff of all ships. Like they added Shooter and Free Spirit, I think, to the units they boost. But the numbers are not just impressive, like you want to be low HP, but you get... 1.8 times HP feels pretty low reward compared to some other ships. Not saying it's useless, but we really need to see what it gets for modification, I'd say, before getting too excited about it. Finally, we have Grudge Dolph, the Hawking ship. Uh, reduces CD by one turn of start of the quest. Boosts Slasher, Striker, and Cerebral HP by 1.25 times. They get a 1.75 times attack boost when they have rainbow, one or own type slot, otherwise 1.6 times attack, and you get a um, 2000 HP heal at end of the turn. So that's really cool. They add a cerebral to it, they, add, they buff the attack to 1.75 times, and you can also get that with matching orbs now. So all in all, probably one of the better buffs this ship will probably see. Quite a bit of use since the classes are pretty good as well. But yeah, I'm pretty hopeful by these buffs. Uh, but I really need to see the modifications before I can make end recommendations. And I really hope there is a way to see the modifications after we get the maintenance. Otherwise, it means that we as a community need to test ourselves and document, which we're good at doing, but I wish we just got the information from Bandai. But yeah. Really cool update, can't wait to try out the new ships. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. 
See you next time.